Yo everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review, as promised, in my last, one of my last review videos on another set of liquid lipsticks, as in liquid to matte lipsticks. Today I'm going to be doing it on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lips. Now they came out quite recently, they came out at the beginning of January and I ordered them directly from Anastasia Beverly Hills website in America. At the moment that's the only place you can buy them, I think you can get them in Macy's or Macy's online now. And they're not available in the UK yet, so for those of you that will be wondering where I got them from, it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills Direct and I will link it below. Now unfortunately I did get hit with a customs charge which was unfortunate, the custom charge was like £28. And I think quite a lot of people that ordered from there to the UK got a massive custom charge. I've never ever actually had a custom charge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the first time, obviously now they've started, Royal Mail have started opening the blooming packages and charging us for our love of makeup, which is really, really sad and not fair and mean and harsh. So I ordered, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've ordered six of them and out of the six I have worn four so far. This is not one that I've worn. This entire makeup look, by the way, I have done a makeup tutorial on it because I actually did do this, I wore this makeup look about a week or so ago and I posted it on my Instagram and everybody was like, oh my God, can you do a makeup tutorial? Have you done one? So I really, really wanted to do that. So that's the reason why I've got all of this orangeness going on at the moment. So first things first, this is what the uh, packaging itself looks like. Standard classic Anastasia Beverly Hills, just the black box with the gold logo written on it and obviously liquid lipstick. Actually, before I get started, I forgot to say, let me just give you a quick description about what they're all like according to Anastasia Beverly Hills' website. So they're liquid lipsticks, which cost $20 by the way. Full coverage, intense pigment and a matte finish in, in, in an easy to apply liquid formula. One sweep delivers vibrant, long wearing colour that sets all day. Formula is ultra pigmented, swirl wand around, tube to evenly mix colour before application. Now, so far from wearing these, I would definitely say that all of this is correct. They are full coverage, you only need to apply one layer to get full coverage all over the lips. Full opaque coverage that is. Intense pigment, yes and a matte finish yes i also find that as you apply them as liquid they don't dry super fast so you're able to kind of move it around still to give like an even distribution which is more important for more of the lighter colors than the darker colors themselves so that is the quick description about all of them um i don't know if i can really compare them to any other ones i say they're more like the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks, which are obviously some of my favourite, but I would still say that the Stila ones are a bit more creamy, whereas these are more on the more drying side, like the uh, Lime Crime Velveteens. So that's just something to bear in mind in the, in the sense that that's how they feel on my lips themselves. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is the first one that I actually wore, and that's called Lovely, and it looks like this. So it is basically a very pale kind of uh, pink shade. It's not a baby pink, I would say. And it's basically just a very pale kind of pink. Now, quite a few people I know that have pers personally, I know that have bought it, did not like the way that it looked on their lips. Um, they didn't think that it sort of suited their skin tone. I personally thought it really did suit me. Um, I really did like it a lot. For reference, I am a MAC NC40. In NARS, I'm Barcelona, the foundation. And yeah, so I'm going to show you now what it looks like on my lips. So there we are, that is lovely. So it's a very pale kind of a milky sort of nudie pink. I think it'll go well with pretty much all skin tones. I think it's just dependent on whether or not you think that it actually suits you or not. Now the only thing I would say about this, whereas now it looks great, I definitely found that once it dried down 
it sat within the cracks of my lips and did not look even. Now, if you saw my video on the Lime Crime Velveteens that I did and I showed cashmere when I complained about the same sort of thing, that is exactly the same with this one. Now, I think it's more to do with the fact that it's a very pale colour. And I find that with all lipsticks, whether they're liquid to mattes, whether they're mattes, lusters, glossies, whatever it is, when it comes to certain pink or very pale shades, whether it's pink or nude or not, it can tend to sit within the cracks of your lips. And unfortunately, it can make it look slightly even. Now that it's drying, I can see that it is starting to settle within the cracks of my lips, which then causes me to have to apply a second layer to try and even it all out. And the more layers that you apply of this, the more uncomfortable it can feel. Now that is not a criticism, of these uh, liquid lipsticks that is all liquid lipsticks the more layers you apply the more uncomfortable it will feel the more drying it will feel because you have to remember these are liquid to matte so obviously they're meant to dry matte and they are super long wearing all of these lipsticks I have worn for upwards of eight hours and they have not failed me at all so sometimes the least or the less amount that you apply the better it may look on the lips so that one is lovely so I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to show you the next one so the next one I'm going to show you is called Pure Hollywood. Again, this one is probably another one which at the moment is sold out, but I do believe that they restock frequently. It's very, 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 very popular. A nude, a nude shade, a brownie nude shade. And just to show you in comparison what it looks like next to Lovely. This is Lovely. This is the nudie pink and this is the more nudie pale nude shade, if you want. Now... Again, even though I've not worn this before, this is the first time I'm wearing it. As I said, I've worn four out of the six that I've bought. I'm going to assume already that this is going to be the same as Lovely in that it will sit within the cracks of your lips. Now, the only thing that I can suggest is you can put a little bit of lip gloss on the top to stop that from happening because then that will kind of fill out the lines in your lips with gloss so that it doesn't kind of sit within the cracks of your lips. But I'm going to swatch this for you now, just so that you can see what it looks like on my lips. As I've mentioned previously, I've got kind of pinky purple lips. I've got a little bit of foundation around them because obviously every time I remove it, all my foundation around my mouth comes off and I don't want to look weird. So this one is lovely. It looks lovely, I mean. I really like the way that it looks. Um, what else have I not mentioned yet? The smell. The smell has a slight alcoholic smell to it, which is slightly off-putting, but it's not something that translates onto the mouth, so you can't smell it, which is fine. And once these dry down, they do have that slightly tacky feel to them, so you have to bear that in mind that you may need to lick your lips now and then. But again, that's the same with all liquid lipsticks because they have that sticking power, that long wearing power. They can make your mouth feel a little bit constricted in movement. And plus, as I've said before, sometimes I feel like I can't do a full smile. And I've got a really big smile on Really nice for a kind of everyday work sort of look. Out and about, you don't want to apply too much makeup. Plus, as I've said, it lasts a very, very long time. But because it's a paler colour, this one will wear off more quicker than the other ones. I think on very dark skin tones, this will look amazing. It will really, really stand out. And on people of very fair skin tone, it will almost look like a kind of your lips but better sort of look. So I'm going to wipe this one off and I'm going to start with the next. So the next liquid lipstick I'm going to show you is the one I was probably most excited about because you guys know how much I love pink. And that's this one. This one is called Party Pink. So it is basically, if you can't tell, a bright, bright, Barbie, bright pink. And it is gorgeous. It's a blue base pink. And I love this. I love this colour. I have worn this one.
Sorry, I'm such a perfectionist. So this is Party Pink, which obviously you can tell is a bright, bright pink. It's making me look like I've got a serious tan going on and it's kind of clashing with the orange of my clothes and my face. But hey, I'm just showing you swatches. So I do love this one. I'm not going to lie. It is a great, great colour. The colour itself is stunning. It's beautiful. It's a bright, bright, bright pink. Everyone needs a bright pink in their life. And I'm personally very happy with this one. I will wear it again and again. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen when I wore this a couple of days ago. Because obviously, as soon as I got these, I had to start wearing them. The good thing about this is that you don't need to wear lip liner. You can wear lip liner. You can change up the colours slightly to incorporate the lip colour with a different type of lip liner so that you can change up the colour slightly. You can wear lip gloss on top of them as well. You can mix these with other ones to create your own kind of unique shade too. So anyway, so this one is Party Pink and I'm going to take this one off now and I will show you the next one. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is the second one that I've not tried yet and this one is called Heathers. This is a gorgeous dark maroon shade and it looks amazing so this is going to be the first time I'm trying it out Oh my god, how stunning is this? That is full opaque coverage. Really, really impressed. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous maroon shade. Love it. And because it is a dark lipstick, it will not do that whole settling within the cracks of your lips. It will look amazing. You won't have to retouch it. It won't get patchy. From what I've seen of the other darker ones that I've worn, I've not had to really retouch them and they've not gone patchy on me. So I'm really, really happy with this one. So this is Heathers. All right, now I'm gonna clean this one off and I'm gonna show you the last two. So the next one I'm gonna show you is called Sad Girl. So I don't know if you can see, it's got slight shimmers in it. Now, out of all of these, this is the only one which has got a metallic sort of finish. It still dries matte, it's still a liquid to matte, but it's got a metallic finish to it and you can see the shimmers in it. Now this one is definitely like a metallic-y, deep plum sort of shade. So this is Sad Girl. Really, really love this shade. Long wearing, long lasting, amazing. I love the way that they've managed to make a matte shade metallic. So it looks amazing. It's got lovely little shimmers in it, which you can see, especially in person. You may not be able to see it here so much, but I absolutely love this shade. It's gorgeous. Again, with all liquid lipsticks like these, you have to be really careful when applying them. If you make a mistake, you're stuffed. You're going to have to use concealer to clean it up because obviously once they dry down, they are stuck there for the rest of your life, basically. So this is Sad Girl. Now I'm going to show you the final one of all the lipsticks that I bought. Last but not least is probably my favourite one out of all of the ones that I've got. And that is called Vintage. It's a gorgeous, it's another plummy kind of purple shade. But according to Norvina, it's more of a, a more wearable one. So it's for basically it's for all skin tones. And I absolutely love, love, love this one. Whereas Sad Girl and one of my followers on Instagram very rightfully said Sad Girl is like a dupe of New York Apple by MAC. This one really reminds me of my favourite one by Stila. Is it Amore? Is that my favourite one? I think so. But it looks just like that one. And I absolutely love, love, love this one. This one is my favourite overall so far.
So this is vintage. <laughs> Love it. I think it's gorgeous. And this is just with one uh, swipe from the wand. As you saw, I didn't have to reapply it. Didn't have to do anything. Doesn't settle within the cracks of my crack cracks 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 of my lips. I think it's stunning. It's a gorgeous shade, and I think everybody should have this one. So that is it for all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I hope that you enjoy this video. I think I'm gonna probably get more. I really, really do like them. I think they're great. I love the consistency of them. The lighter colours, yeah, slightly more disappointing, but they can still be worn. They are still wearable. It's just about the way that you choose to wear it. As I've said in previous videos, you need an oil-based makeup remover to remove these. I have literally just been using this ginormous tub of Vaseline and a tissue to take all of these off. You don't want to see the mess that I've got over here. They last all day. They are eat-proof, kiss-proof, smudge-proof. They're just amazing and I am really, really happy with these. So these get a two thumbs up from me. So I hope they are all great and that you enjoyed this uh, review and lip swatches video. Uh, if you've got any more questions, feel free to ask me below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.